What's up guys, welcome back to the Bracing Room, I'm Hanson. Today what we're going to do is we're going to break down some of the points of interest in the game and some of the slang terms for them. So maybe you're jumping into your first few games and you're jumping in with some randoms or some friends and they're throwing out some names that you have no idea what they mean. We're going to jump into a game of plunder and we're just going to kind of run around and I'll show you some of the different points of interest and some slang terms for them. That way you're not falling behind the loop. Let's go. Alright guys, so I've done some thinking about how I want to break this down and how I want to break it up because I don't want to jump into all the points of interest you know of the whole map because that'd be a lot it'd be a very long video so I'm gonna break it up a little bit um, in this first segment we're gonna talk about all the points of interest in this area right here Let's scroll down a little bit in this area right here um, this is gonna be boneyard to virgin superstore airport this area here and we'll break it down in other areas in another video um, so let's go ahead and talk about this general area um, so, there's a couple of key points of interest that are labeled, you know, Superstore, Storage Town, Airport. Those are going to be pretty obvious uh, if you start getting into a fight and Boneyard. Uh, those are going to be pretty obvious if you're in a gunfight and someone says they're in Storage Town, you know where Storage Town's at because uh, it's labeled. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start down on this bottom left and just kind of work my way up telling y'all what different places are called, okay? All right, so let's go. All right, kicking it off with Boneyard. Um, Boneyard is a crazy place. It's very close quarters combat. Um, but there's a couple of key points you need to know. Uh, as far as these, they're probably going to say he's in the plane. And then you're going to panic and wonder what plane, and no one can blame you for that. <laughs> um, but one thing is if they say hangers, right? If you're in this general area and they say Moving hangers, out. Start looking at this. These are the hangers for Boneyard. Um, so that's kind of a, one key point of interest for Bone. Um, these are different warehouses. Um, they might say warehouse. Um, that's some. There isn't really much in Boneyard as far as you know, points of interest. Uh, like I said, you got hangers here. So keep those in mind. Never mind. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now they, they might say the buildings in Bone. That'd Moving be up out. here. Um, and these would be more of the warehouses. Um, so, Never mind. and like I said, if, if you're playing with a, like a crew that you play with a lot, just ignore that. I'm gonna have to fix that, I don't know why. Um, like I said, if you're playing with a crew that you play with a lot, you're gonna get to learn their vernacular. So for example, me and my friends, we land here a lot. Okay. So we call this our building. Um, so if Never I ever mind. start up a game and I say, let's land our building, everybody knows where we're going. We don't need to play. Um, so mind. get to know what your teammates call stuff. Uh, but for us, this is Boneyard, and we have hangars, warehouses, buildings. That's kind of roughly what we do. Um, over here, these are just the houses. Um, like I said, our building. Um, this Scratch that. Your teammate might call it something different, um, but that's what we call it. So I doubt he's going to say our building. Um, also over here you have gas station, uh, we'll try to get over there. Alright, so if you're fighting in this general area and someone says they're in gas, um, or gas station, um, the slang for this area is gas, so if someone says he's in gas, he's in this general area. Uh, like I said from earlier, that's our building, um, your team might call it Scratch something out. different. This up here is bunkers, uh, bunkers aren't as big a deal right now in season 2 just because they've closed most of them up. Um, but we'll go check out bunkers. Alright, so these are bunkers here. Um, if you're coming up here with your team, they might say left door, middle door, right door. Um, that's just to help out, you know, specifying which one. Because if I just say door, you know, you know, we got, we got a couple options. Um, so, you know, this is bunkers. Left, middle, right door. Kind of a simple breakdown there. All right, so let's see what we've done here. Um, we've broke down all these. Uh, we've talked about gas. We've talked about this building. Um, buildings and bone, warehouses, hangars. Uh, so let's go talk about this general area here. All right, so we fired up a new game um, of plunder just so I can get it back up high in the air. So I'm gonna try to lay out a good portion of this from up here. So the next part area we're going to talk about within this zone is going to be right in here, okay? So, actually we'll cover this too because this is an important spot. So if you ever hear someone say hilltop in this general area, this is the area they're talking about. This is hilltop. 
Um, and there's an antenna right here. They might say antenna at hilltop, something like that. Um, let's see. Moving down, we've got warehouses. Uh, so these right here, these are warehouses. Um, they might talk about those. And once you get tight in an area, um, you're going to have a better idea. So this is more so like if you're, you know, out here and someone says warehouses, you know, to go over here. Um, and if they say houses here, if they say... Uh, green here, stuff like that. Let's wait for that tent. Um, so like I said, this is a hill. These are warehouses. And then we're going to talk about this building right here. This is the fire station, uh, but you're going to more commonly hear it called fire. So if you ever hear somebody say fire, that's where they're at. More specifically, if you hear them say fire tower or tower and fire, something to that effect. Wait for that tent again. Wonders loud. Um, they're probably talking about this right here, um, in the top of this tower on top. Um, so fire tower, tower of fire, blah, 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 somewhere in there. So I'm going to talk about this little general area here. Um, they might say yellow house. These two are yellow. This one's white. This one's brick. They might get that specific depending on who you're playing with. Um, but these are, well, generally we call houses. This right here is an uh, apartment. So if you ever hear someone say, yo, top of apartment, top of apartment, this is what they're talking about, because this is a common area for people to get on top of and snipe. Hopefully there's no homies. There are. You're about to get disrespected. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, top of apartment. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I want to get off here quick before that guy comes Hostile back. And... Into the area. Watch the skies. Just like that. Ooh, that gun's garbage. Man, I've got to still have my LC-10 let out. Uh, don't run the LC-10. Check out my other video on that. <laughs> but now we're back in the air, so that's good. Alright, so we've talked about top of apartment right here. So this right general area right here is called Cemetery. Um, kind of a weird area. Um, it's the only cemetery in the game. So yeah, this area is called Cemetery. There's no way to be specific within Cemetery as to where they're at. So if you ever see a red dot pop up and say Cemetery, this is where they're at. I mean, it's hard to be spe more specific than Cemetery in this area. So these buildings right here, we call green. Um, reason being, you know, it's green. Uh, so if you ever hear someone say top of green, this is what they're talking about. Because people love to get on top of these and camp and hold. Uh, they are good buildings for holding enemies. Um, so this is top of green. Gotta get so chaotic so quick in this game. Alright. So. Whew. Next point of interest we're going to talk about is right in front of me. I'll go ahead and zoom in. It's going to be this building right here. Uh, there's several of them throughout Verdansk. Um, but this is called police. That's what this building is typically called. I'm actually going to go down. Ridiculous. Overtime already? Good lord. Alright, yeah, so this is the building we were talking about. This is police. Um, you might hear second story police, first story police. That's just indicating where your teammate sees them. Um, yeah, so this is police. Police station, police. They might call it different stuff, depending on what you're playing with. Alright, so if it goes straight to the left, neighbor to the left. This is Bank. Uh, there's a few of these buildings around for dance as well. Um, and anytime you hear someone say Bank, this is the building they're talking about because it's a bank, as you can tell from the alarm that just went off. Uh, and plunder when you enter this building and alarm sounds. Um, so yeah, this is Bank. God, that's annoying. Why is it focusing on me? Alright, so next building we'll talk about. Is this building right here? Um, I've heard it. All right. So as I was saying, this is IHOP. Um, me and my friends call it that because it kind of looks like an IHOP. Um, so that's that's it. <laughs> There's no other reason for calling it that. Uh, I've heard it called um, blue, um, top of blue, inside of blue, 
um, because of the blue roofs. Um, roofs? Roofs? I don't know. And then we have another gas. Um, and we talked about the gas before. It's pretty self-explanatory, right? All right, another game of plunder in. Um, so now we're gonna talk about this square right here and we're gonna break it down a little bit and explain some of the buildings within it. So from here, I'll go ahead and talk about a little, little bit while we're waiting on the plane to come in. Go ahead and turn the game volume down a little bit. Um, so this building right here is called SOS. Uh, it's called SOS for an obvious reason. SOS. <laughs> um, so it's not necessarily always going to be that building though so a lot of times what happens is you'll be on top of this building which we'll get into in a second and someone will say hey they're top of sos and my first look is always at that building but they might mean one of these surrounding buildings um so just keep your eyes out don't fully solely focus on that if a teammate yells sos they might not necessarily mean just sos all right so moving through here, these building, these areas don't really have a, this area doesn't really have any buildings with a name really. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about these buildings right here. This building is called, or these set of buildings is called Virgin. Um, I'll let you uh, kind of break down why you think it's called Virgin. Um, so uh, with the way Twitch rules are, you aren't allowed to say Virgin for some reason, so they have resorted to calling it Virginia Towers, so you might hear Virgin, you might hear Virginia, uh, depending on who you're playing with. Um, then down here, this is Train, so you might hear someone say they're down in Train, go down there, because that's where it goes down in the subway, where the trains are. Um, so, this building right here, um, I don't know if there's a name for it, like, officially, but my teammates always call it, like, Ammo Building something to that effect. It's really annoying. I'm going to raise that. So yeah, this is a ammo building. The uh, reason it's called ammo building is because you can go in. There's an ammo supply there. So explanatory. Um, and this building over here, sometimes you call Enemy it green and white. Overhead. Something like that. You don't want to call it green because, you know, there's a other green over there. Um, however, I mean, if you're playing with a bunch of guys and you're in this general area and I say, oh, top of green, top of green, they're going to be able to process of elimination and say, oh, he means that green versus this green, right? So you got to kind of be aware of your surroundings and process what they most likely mean when you're playing. So the next point of interest we're going to talk about within this little square is this building right here. Uh, there's several of these around the map, um, and it's called uh, Burger. Um, I've, that's all. That's the only thing I've ever heard it called is Burger. Um, reason being is it's a burger joint. Um, I don't know what that says, but I'm gonna call it Burger. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is Burger. If you ever hear somebody say inside Burger, top of Burger, anything like that, this is Enemy where they're talking okay. about. And like I said, these buildings over here, they don't really have any names. Um, I call these storage un these storage units. So I might say he's in this storage unit. Um, so, but then again, in that moment, pings are king. I'm um, in areas where nothing really has a name. The ping is the king. So, if you see a guy, for example, here, this doesn't really have a name. So I might just say, uh, "Hey, he's right here. He's right here. He's right here." And I'll step away. I'll be like, "Helicopter. He's at the helicopter. I pinged him." Um, so just make sure you're pinging in areas where nothing really has an official name. So now we'll go ahead and way. move over to Moving some out. of my favorite buildings. These right here. All right, so these over here. Um, these are some sort of silos. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's actually holding them. I have no idea. Care less because we call them titties. <laughs> um, if you ever hear a teammate say, hey, they're in titties, this is what they're talking about, or they're on titties, this is what they're talking about. And reason being, yeah. Uh, so this is titties. <laughs> uh, they might say, hey, the building at titties, that's this, because there's only really one building. Um, and hopefully they're pinging as well so that you don't confuse it for this one. Uh, this building's fairly common, so is this one, but they don't really have an official name. And again, they might say storage unit at titties. 
All right, sliding to the left, we're going to be going to this building right here. Um, this is tech building, electronic building. Um, I've heard it called a couple of different things, um, but right there it says that. Electronics. Uh, so this is the electronics building, tech building. I've heard it called those before. Um, and there's just some TVs and crap in here. So if you hear somebody say top of electronics, this is what they're talking about. All right, moving over into the uh, world of death. Uh, this is Superstore. Um, if you're watching this video and don't know what Superstore is, I'd be careful landing there. You're probably going to get stepped on. Um, but yeah, this is Superstore. It's where pretty much all your sweats drop. It's where all the big streamers drop. And it's because there's a lot of loot here. There's a lot of money. There's usually a lot of contracts. And when you go here, it's pretty much never going to be uncontested. You're going to run into people um, and most likely die. Even Most of the best streamers even come out of here, you know, maybe a little over half the time, right? Um, it's just kind of the luck of the draw and things like that. Now, you Enemy might hear them say carport. Um, if someone says, hey, they're at carport at Super, they're talking about this area out here, which is just the parking lot. Um, so other than that, I'd be careful around this area. It is a seat. That's like what I'm saying right there. And he dropped off. So yeah, this is super. And I'm gonna get away from here. <laughs> Alrighty, so jumping right across the road from super. Is that a guy? No, it's not. I was, like I said, jumping right across the road from super. Moving position. Is that a guy? No. Moving position. We have another gas station. Gas. Um, I don't think we have to go over that again because we've already talked about it. And then. Right next to gas, we've got Burger Town. And then right next to Burger Town, we got ammo. See how it's all coming together? Everything starts to come together. Like I said, there's ammo in these buildings. Everything's starting to come together. Everything's starting to make sense. Beautiful. All right, so this general area right here, my teammates usually call field. Um, if you ever hear them say, hey, the house or the building at field, they're probably, yeah. <laughs> Love plunder, baby. All right, so. That's field. You might hear them say silos. That's these little buildings right here. Um, and if they say building, they're probably talking about this or this. But this general area, my teammates call field. Um, please don't. Uh, this right here, this is a big point of interest called Storage Town. Um, yep. All right, this area right here is a big point of interest. It's called Storage Town. Uh, it's called that because of all the storage units. If you ever somebody say the building at Storage Town, building in the middle of Storage Town, they're talking about this. This is a pretty heavily hit in, ran to building within Storage Town. Um, I keep getting lit up trying to make a video over here, so I'm gonna quickly move over to this. This right here is called Pool. It's called Pool for a very obvious reason. There is a pool in here. <laughs> um, so if you ever hear somebody say top of pool, which is a very commonly hit at and sniped spot, um, uh, people love to get on top of this building and hide. Um, but yeah, this is called pool. So, moving, we'll see, what would that be? West of pool, we have another gas station. And we're not, we're not going to stop. I mean, it's a gas station. We've talked about those a lot now. Uh, this building right here, some call I have heard it called Garter. Um, my teammates call this our building, and the reason being is because we drop here a lot. Um, that's probably going to go down a little bit now that the bunkers are closed, but we used to drop here so much that we just got to where we called it our building, and everybody just knew what that meant. Um, it's a great building to drop at. Um, it's pretty easy to run around. There's some good sh um, shots if you know what you're talking about. This right here we call silo. We don't call it titties. Don't mistake it for titties because there's only Disregard one. That. Um, wrapping south from silo, we have bunkers. Um, when we come up into this area, we're usually looking for enemies because people had to come here to get the loot because there's a decent amount of loot, especially back when they were, you know, had bunkers and you could unlock them. Um, when we get in this area, another thing that's important is we're going to start calling out left, middle, I'm right moving. door. Um, and if we're coming up from that general area, which Moving we out. usually do, we might even call it first, second, or third. This way. 
um, just kind of depending on you know what we're doing at the time. Uh, so yeah, these are bunkers. There is another bunker here. Moving out. Now we'll go further south in a little bit. I might just run down there now to show you all the other bunker that's even further down uh, the way. All right, so moving a little bit south from this bunker is this little area. Uh, we call this radio tower, tower, uh, different things like that. Um, like I said, just kind of using context clues of where you're at to that. process what your teammate could mean. Um, and then moving down from that, we've got warehouse. I'm moving. And never really had a name for this one. We just call it this building and ping moving. it. Um, if there's not a name for a building, just make sure you're pinging it. Um, that way your teammates know. South from that, we've got houses. Um, I don't think we've ever really called this anything other than houses. I've never heard it called anything other than just houses. Um, pretty good little area if you want some easy loot. Um, especially if you're coming out of, you know, our building and the bunkers and all that stuff. And keeping on heading south, I'm going to show you all the last little bit at the south end of the zone we're working with. Hope that I can get there before this match ends. Uh, but this is going to be the last bunker on this side, um, in this zone. Uh, let's see. It's just right up the hill, right here. And this is just another bunker that you can go down into, all right? So if I were here and I said, hey, there's an enemy at bunkers, or at bunker, they're going to know I'm talking about here versus, you know, there, right? So, like I said, using context clues to learn your way around the map. Woo! We're into another game of plunder. <laughs> um, so continuing... I'm going to turn that down. So continuing to work our way around... All right, so continuing to work our way around here, um, we've gone through, we've gone all the way through this area. So now what we're going to run to is, uh, we'll start here. We'll start here. I'm just going to work our way up and around. While I'm flying, I want to go ahead and bring something up to you guys. Um, this channel has expanded past my friend group, and that's a great thing. I'm so happy about that. Um, so I want to extend to you guys what I have extended to my friends. I'm looking to kind of set up a tournament of sorts with Warzone. Um, it might be private matches, kill races, whatever I can work out, but I need people. Um, so if you're interested, they, if I get enough interest, I could try to do a cash prize. There will be an entry fee at that point. Cause obviously you have to support the cash prize. Um, but if you guys are interested in that, please let me know in the comments or send me a message on, uh, Instagram or even TikTok, if you want to go check me out over there and just let me know that you're interested. That way I can, you know, work on getting you involved. Um, so with that being said, let's go and jump into our next areas. Okay. So just north of storage town, we're getting into the airport. Um, uh, this is going to be a big point of interest. Um, I'm going to break it down to a couple of different subsections. Um, so this area right here is tense. It's self-explanatory as why it's called tents, or why we call it tents with my team. Just tents. Bring the game volume back up if you want. Um, moving a little bit, let's see what that be, east. A little bit east we have parking garage. Uh, this is the parking garage for airport. It is not attached uh, completely. There's these little catwalks, which these are called catwalks. I'll go ahead and throw that out there. So if someone says, hey, on the catwalk, that's where they're at. Um, people do like to get in those and shoot people running down this road. So this right here is parking garage. There are two levels to it. Um, be listening out for your teammates as to what level they might be on. And now what we landed on is actual airport. Um, this is a pretty common place for people to be. It's a pretty heavy loot area. Please don't. I'm making a video. It's a pretty heavy loot area. People do like to come here because it's, you know, easy to get money. Easy to get good guns at the beginning. Um, you can see it's got several levels, um, and honestly, digging into the inside of here, I might do different videos where I break down the interiors of different buildings. Um, I hear someone somewhere. I really don't want to deal with them. Um, but I might do a separate video where I break down the interiors of some of these buildings a little bit more. But I'm not going to break that down here. I'm more focused on major points of interest. So. We're just going to move on past this place. Alright, so now what we're heading to is Plame. 
so this is a fairly large point of interest in an airport, and we're in it right now. So I'm going to show you on the map. This is the plane that's crashed or been blown up. Uh, it looks more like it was blown up versus crashed. Um, and this leads out to the airport, or out to the runway from airport. Um, so we've come through here, through that little, whatever you call that, gate, and come out to the plane. And this right here is the runway. Uh, this is the field of death. You want to do just about anything you can to avoid having to run out here in the open because it usually does lead to you getting popped. Um, I think that guy in that TikTok song even said, like, don't be running across that airfield to get your head popped or something like that. Um, so it's an area to be careful with. Um, while we're here, these are tents right here. And then back over here, there's always, or usually is, a buy station over here. Um, and these are other tents, um, but there's not really a name for this specific area. Uh, I'm not sure if you noticed it when we run past it a little second ago. But right here, this drops down. And this is actually a good way to cross the airfield if you need to, uh, is to get under here. This is a, just a little spot that goes underground. And it pops out... Right over here. So it runs from there all the way to here to here, and it comes out right there. This way. Um, and there are ways to get into the airport from here. So it's a good area to keep in mind. I'm just going to grab this whip. Alrighty. So if you like to camp, you're going to love this next spot. This is ATC or airport tower uh, tower you might hear it called a lot of things um, there's a couple places you can go here one is the little crescent area right here um, but the main people everybody goes and main place everybody goes and this is plunder so if there's not a guy up here then this is a weird lobby because plunder is a snipe city That's weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's no one up here. No one's even been up here. Oh, uh, yeah. This is Air Traffic air traffic Control Tower. ATC um, Tower. And the reason it's called that is because it's a tower. And it has really good vantage points. Um, a lot of times the circle will close in and you'll get really good holds on people coming out of these buildings right here. Uh, really easy holds. Um, for some reason, people always drive through right coming out of these and just stop their car here versus just continuing to push through um but this is a really good area to get some shots i don't like campers um i don't even like camping and sniping when i have foresight for the win um but you know it's one of those things it's a good area um just try not to be a camping loser <laughs> all righty so we've just about um you know, explained everything in this zone. I'll take um, I'm gonna take out of this area because this is the edge of this zone right here. This old road, but still in this zone are these buildings over here, and there's no real names for these buildings. Uh, they're just houses. Um, and that's what we're calling them, houses. And like I said, this is when pings come into play. Make sure you're. Um, make sure you're pinging these buildings for your teammates. That way, there's good communication all the way around. And everybody knows what you're dealing with. And I'm not going to mess with him anymore because I'm trying to make a video. Alright, so we're just going to kind of continue around this way. Because this is the edge of the zone. And small building. I've heard we call that small building sometimes. Once again, things coming into play. Uh, right here, storage units. Sometimes, like, I call these storage units, like I said before. There's usually a buy station here, so this is a pretty common area me and my teammates go to. Um, let's see. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is everywhere. All right, guys, so current me hates past me. I did that whole video through zone A and completely forgot about that area. So we're going to cover that area now. It's pretty much this area here. And to be honest, there's not much to it. Um, I'm going to do a good portion of it from the air when I jump out of this plane, and we'll break down a couple of the other areas more in depth. Alrighty, so, it's pretty much this general area over here. 
Starting off, we have these hangers. These hangers are a pretty good drop spot, like from like an initial drop spot. Reason being is they provide good opportunity for rotations. You can rotate over into airport pretty easily, into this little village, or over here toward Rusty. Um, it also has pretty decent tier loot as well, uh, probably like two or three. Um, so it's a good spot to drop initially. Um, another good drop initially is the hole, which is newest season two. Uh, it's right here. Apparently, it looks like something exploded there and created a big crater, which led to a missile silo. Uh, and if you go down in here, you can actually run the route, and it pops you out in this little house. Um, there's not much more to it. It's got one of the new computers that have the zombie head and the tracker on it. So that's another thing, but I'm going to shout it now. Wonderful. Um... This also leads over into here, which I consider no man's land. But if you do have to rotate into this area, I do prefer either this or this. Simply for the fact that it offers at least a little bit of cover. Let's see. Moving up through here, you got dealership. Uh, we'll take a look at that building in a second. Um, but we'll also take a look at Rusty here. Sorry about that. Um, my friends and I don't really call it Rusty, but it's what I've heard a lot of people call it. Um, and the reason they call it rusty is obviously because it's a rusty building. Um, so you got fire into rusty, which is a full building. There's no brakes in it. It leads all the way back to another cop, um, which obviously has ammo refills and different things like that. Nothing really back here except for a few more hangers. These ones don't have near the amount of loot that these do. Um, so I'd recommend dropping these if you're trying to go for a hanger hit. Um... That's pretty much it over there. Let's see. We'll check out the hole, and then we'll go check out the dealership. See a good bit of action over there toward dealerships. We'll hit this first. So, like I said, this is the other entrance. Uh, the main one that everybody hits, though, is right there. So you can always drop into this one. And like I said, there's pretty decent loot in here. That's right, you just saw me efficiently hit a ladder instead of falling down it and dying. Stay tuned for more. Um, so like I said, not much to it. Just kind of leads into a big missile silo area. Pretty good for plunder though, holy crap. Just realized that. Um, let's see, I always have to relearn my way through this place. Uh, let's see, yeah, like I said, and this is pretty close to what it's like, you know, aside from the egregious amounts of money. Pretty close to what it's like in a regular game with the amount of people or the amount of loot. Um, let's see. I'm trying to show you the computer as well. Well, see, this is the computer I was talking about. There's a big theory to this computer. Um, if you want to see a video on that, let me know. Um, it's into, you know, what's going to end up happening with the Verdansk map. Um, if you haven't heard about it already, which if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you probably already have. Um, but yeah, it's got one of those computers in here too. So that's pretty much it for the whole, like I said, it's not that impressive. There's not much to it. Come here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move on and check out the dealership. All right, so we covered the whole, we kind of talked about the hangers. Now they got a decent amount of loot and they got good rotations. So we're gonna go ahead and there's a team of like three here I'm trying to avoid. Um, so we'll go ahead and talk about dealership here. Um, if you ever hear someone refer to a building as dealership, this is the building they're talking about. Uh, it's referred to that because there's usually a car parked in here. So, you know, it's a dealership. <laughs> and it also says used cars there, which randomly is in English, while everything else is not. That that confuses me. But, yes, yeah, so this is dealership. Uh, it's a couple-story building. It does have pretty good loot in it. Uh, and also be wary of the roof because uh, this is a pretty commonly... Uh, camped and sniped that building all right guys that pretty much does it for zone a um of my verdansk tour um if if you think i missed anything i don't think i did but i definitely could have i don't like you sir um i definitely could have um so if you can think of anything i missed or tell me what your teammates call stuff um just let me know in the comments um and we'll move on with zone b in a future video and yeah See you guys next time. Peace out.